Hey everybody, how's it going? What I'll do today is show you how to generate a ChatGPT prompt, but then turn that prompt into a diagram. And this is gonna be a diagram that is typically something that is very labor intensive. It takes uh, upwards of a few hours to create. And what we're going to do is put it into a program that will take that diagram, uh, that text output and turn it into a diagram quite easily. Let's go ahead and get started. I haven't rehearsed this, so, so bear with me. I'm just going to say here, generate a text representation of a cloud architecture diagram about how Netflix works. So for me, this is, so it's talking about clients, content library, edge locations. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's not technical enough for me though. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna write a modification in here. I'm just going to say, make it more technical, describing the cloud services that need to be used. Make reference to Google Cloud. Okay, clients, content library, edge locations. So here it's, it's mentioning cloud storage, it's mentioning cloud CDN, cloud load balancing, Kubernetes, Google Cloud endpoints. Yeah, this is really good much better. So it's getting very specific into the kinds of technology that needs to be used to get a system like Netflix off the ground. Now, of course, you know, the, the system is, is uh, potentially much more complex than this, but as far as taking the basic framework and understanding what's involved, this is a great starting point. Now, what I want to do is I want to copy this and I want to go to a website called eraser.io, E-R-A-S-E-R.io. And I'm going to click on new file. Now I've created a, an eraser.io account and it gives me eight free diagrams that I can make with their AI, uh, with their AI tool. Not necessarily only with their AI tool, but you can you can draw a diagram, start with a template. The purpose of this video is to show you how to take an output from ChatGPT and turn it into a diagram, right? So I'm gonna click on AI diagram here. And I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT. Again, I'm gonna copy this, put it in here. And under diagram type, you can have it just figure out what kind of diagram you're referring to, but I want to create a cloud architecture because I wanted to not mistake it for anything else. And that's the purpose of all the text that was generated with ChatGPT. So we're gonna click on generate. Let's see what it comes up with. It's getting all the icons ready. Clients, content library, edge locations, load balancers. These look like Google Cloud icons. This is great. Cloud Big Table. So it's it's drawing everything out. It's getting ready to draw all the connections. Typically, the cloud architecture diagram. There they are. The cloud. The the connections. will will show you what is what is required uh, from a, from a workflow perspective. So let's have a look here. Database services, we have Bigtable, Cloud Firestore, Cloud SQL, and the content library sits outside of the database. Okay. Bigtable and all, all of these database services, they're sent to BigQuery. 
There's logging and monitoring in this analytics bucket here. Security and authentication. Billing and subscription management. Content licensing, global scalability. Cloud container registry. So this is mapping out a really nice workflow. So again, this would have taken me quite a while to do. Maybe not hours, but more time than I want to spend. So this is a win for generative AI. And I just wanted to show you guys that using ChatGPT not only creates text, but it sets you up to be able to use these other generative AI services. Eraser.io is a really good one. One that creates UML type diagrams like this one. This is a really nice cloud architecture diagram. It's really good for you to be able to, to learn what one looks like and how it works as well. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. I thought this was really neat and I hope you did too. Thanks for watching.